Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, we're going to take a look at um, Amazon Certificate Certificate Manager. So that is a service that allows you to have uh, SSL or TLS uh, certification. Um, this is very useful when you are trying to have HTTPS for your application load balancer or CloudFront. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I'm going to go over to our GitHub over to here, and I'm going to open up AWS Examples. I'm going to open this up. And we can set this up using an existing load balancer. So I know that we uh, already have one. Um, I'm going to have to just switch out um, some key information here. So we'll wait for this to open up. Um, so we'll give it a moment here. There we go. And that's not ready just yet. We'll give it a, just a, another second here. There we go. There's Gitpod. And so what I'm going to do is make a new directory here. This will be called ACM. And I'm going to go over to ASG. And I want to go ahead and copy these two files. And we'll go over to here and make a new folder. And we'll just say ALB. And we'll paste these in here. OK. So uh, we'll try that again. Paste. I don't think it copied them. So we'll go back to the ASG here. And I'll copy these. And I'll paste it. And then I'm going to CD into my ACM directory um, and then into my ALB directory here. I'm going to make a few changes. This will be. Uh, Deploy SG ACM. Um, and I don't think the region matters um, uh, for the domain, but I have domains registered here in, in uh, Rep53. So for you to do this, you'd have to register a domain. If you don't want to register a domain, you can just watch me do this. But uh, domains don't really cost that much, but it's up to you based on what you are comfortable, uh, comfortable wanting to spend. But anyway, what I'm going to do is go over to here, and I want to swap out a few values because um, I'm not in my usual account. So I'm going to go over to EC2, or sorry, VPC, and I, I need to go get the default VPC here. And I'm going to switch over to CA Central 1. And we'll go into here. And I'm going to go to this one here. I'm going to copy this value here and paste it in. And then I need two subnets here. So go ahead and grab that. That's really interesting because I must have done an ALB somewhere else, but I remember we specified them separately. It doesn't really matter. You can do it either way. Um, but we'll click into our resource map here. And the easiest way is just to grab it like this. I'm going to avoid um, one uh, CI Central 1, 1A because it or 1D because it always gives me uh, trouble. So we'll just do one, uh, 1A and 1B here. And I'll paste it in as such. The other thing I'll need is an image ID. So I'm going to make my way over to EC2. And I'm going to go ahead, go to Instances, Launch Instance. And we'll go ahead and copy this. And we'll go ahead and paste it. So that looks fine. This is open. We have Assume Role. This will launch a basic website. And so we'll go ahead and just save this. Save, uh, we'll just say ACM ALB code. We'll sync that. OK, and so now what, what I want to do is go ahead and deploy this. So hopefully this works. We'll make our way over to CloudFormation here. It's fine if it doesn't work the first time. Sometimes it messes up. That's totally fine. But we'll go over to here and uh, did that not launch in the correct location here? CA Central 1. Oh, you know what it is? Um, I have to get the credentials for this account. So what I'm going to do is just load up my credentials here, and I'll be back in just a moment, okay? All right, so I swapped out my keys. We'll go ahead and take a look and try to deploy this again. And I think this time it should now show up here under our stacks. It does. Excellent. And I'll go into here, change sets. We'll execute this, and hopefully it works. Fingers crossed. All right, so I think that worked, assuming my internet's not uh, messed it up again. So we have our load balancer. And so what we'll do is go over to EC2, and we'll go over to load balancer. And we could do this via CloudFormation, but I figure, I figure it's just better to do this via ClickOps here today um, to change this configuration. And oh, that's interesting. We don't see our load balancer. What the heck's going on? I could have swore it created it, unless it messed up. It definitely created it. Resources. Oh, oh, 
this is an auto scaling group. This isn't a load balancer. That explains why this isn't working. <laughs> okay, so not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna go down to ELB. And yeah, cause like notice this one, it pulls from, from like that there. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'll copy this one here. I'll just call this one old, rename zero. And I'll paste this one in here now. And then what I'll do, that is embarrassing. What I'll do is I'll pull up this one here on the left-hand side, we'll bring this on the right-hand side. And I was wondering why that looked a little bit different. So what we'll do is just grab this here, copy, and paste. And we'll grab this one here, and we'll paste. And we'll grab the AMI here, and we'll paste. Also kind of explains why it took so long to spin up because ASGs take some time to get going and we'll paste that in. And so what I'll do now, I want this to be a T3 micro. Um, we'll delete out our template YAML here because that's totally useless now. Let's just say delete that permanently. I'm gonna go back over to our stack. I'm gonna delete this one. And just so I'm not waiting around for a thousand years, I'm just gonna name this, um, uh, well, I mean, it should be renamed AL, ALB Basic ACM. We'll deploy that again. And this time, we won't make any mistakes. So we'll wait for that to appear, okay? All right, so I think now we have the correct thing created. We'll go back over to EC2. And if we go down below to our load balancer, we now have our... We should have our load balancer. And so what I want to do is make sure that uh, before we proceed that we actually have something here. So give that a moment to load. There we go. So there is a server. So we'll make our way over to ACM. And originally when this service first came out, it was so easy. It was super, super easy to choose the wrong one. And it cost you a lot of money, but you can see that they've made this button down below here now. Um, so we're going to request a certificate, a public certificate, and we'll go hit next. And then this is where you enter the fully qualified domain. Um, so I'll use cloudborg.org because I already have that in uh, Route 53. So you'd have to purchase a domain. It has to be in Route 53. And the other thing is that I do want that, but we're going to add another name to the certificate. And I always recommend to do the, the naked domain and then the wildcard domain, and that will cover all your bases. So if you remember that, you'll never have to recreate a domain. Um, ACM is scoped per uh, region. So if we had a resource in another region, we'd have to create another ACM public certificate per uh, region. But anyway, we have two options, DNS validation or email. DNS is the easiest, especially when it's in Route 53. So we'll choose that. I don't care about the key algorithm. I don't know what it does. I'll ignore it, so we'll just, well, I mean, obviously I know what a, an algorithm does, but I'm just saying I don't see how that would make any impact to what we're doing. So now it's going to do the validation. It should automatically do it. Before, you used to have to click a button to do that. Um, so I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and click this here, and I'll add it anyway, so maybe that will um, satisfy it. And so what we'll need to do now is just wait for this um, to occur. Okay, so... It'll take a little bit of time. It's usually pretty darn quick. There we go, now it's issued. And so now we can use our certificate. So if we go back over to EC2, and we go over to our load balancer here, and we go into our listeners. It's usually attached to the listener. So we go manage listener and edit the listener. There should be an option here. I'm used to doing it programmatically, so I'm not 100% sure where it is, but I think the idea is that we need to add a rule, which is 443, like this, and then it should require a certificate. So yeah, I'm not 100% confident on this. So let me think here. Yeah, we have port 8. I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. So we'll say 443, uh, wait, SSL port. It's 443, yeah. Just making sure I'm not putting 433. Sometimes that happens. We'll choose HTTPS. Yeah, so once you do that, then you should have to choose something. So authentication, oh, we're not authenticating. Um, I guess we would go to that target. That's fine. Here it is. Okay, so now this is where we choose our, our certificate. So we have cloudborg.org here. 
and it should be as simple as this. Uh, you could bring in your own private certificate, I guess. This was not an option that I saw before. This is actually kind of interesting. Import your certificate to either ABIS Certificate Manager or um, IEM to be imported to make the default one. I'm kind of worried that this would cost a lot of money. I don't know why, but um, it's because it says import to ACM. And I remember this IEM option uh, being here. So I'm not sure if that's a more cost-effective option or that's still expensive. I probably still would not do that. But we'll go back to ACM here and we'll choose this. And we'll go ahead and, and select next. And so now our certificate should be attached. So the idea is, um, that's step one, but we're gonna have to go to a Ref 53 because we need to point this um, over to the new um, load balancer there. So in here we have cloudborg.org and I actually have this C name from before that I didn't get rid of. We're gonna go ahead and create a new record. And this is for IPv4 addresses, which is fine. But if we uh, select this here, it doesn't matter if it's uh, A or C name here, but we'll just leave it as A. And we're gonna choose in here our load balancer. So here we have our application load balancer and then we'll choose our region. So this is CA central one. And then we have our load balancer here and this will just be on the naked domain. So I, don't, I actually don't wanna change anything. I'll just hit create. And so the naked domain now should uh, go there, okay? So now what we'll do is we will go type in cloudborg.org and hopefully it will resolve. Notice it's putting the www in there. I did not put the www in there. It just kind of autofilled it. And I really want it to not do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this in manually. And so now it works. Okay, so it is now using that certificate. I wonder if we could see it here, um, here, if we click it. And so we look here, we see issued cloudborg org. Issuer is Amazon, Amazon uh, certificate, and there's the public key. So there you go, that is how you do it. Um, so ACMs, as far as I'm aware of, does not cost anything when it's public. Uh, ACM public certificate pricing. I'm pretty sure it doesn't cost anything. Let's go double check here. Mm, yeah, it's free. So there's no cost here. If you keep this around, it's not really a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it because I'm done with it. And I'm gonna go back to, uh, we can't delete it because we're using it right now. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just tear down our CloudFormation stack and then we'll delete that. Then we'll get rid of the route, okay? So we'll go ahead and delete this. While that is deleted, I'm just gonna save this here. ACM code example. But normally, like, you can programmatically do it, but normally what I would do is I would, via ClickOps, create the ACM certificate and I would just reference its ARN in CloudFormation as opposed to um, uh, doing all there because you have that confirmation step and that's kind of a pain to set up in um, CloudFormation or IEC. You can do it, but uh, it's not what I would recommend. So we'll wait for that to delete and then we'll clean this up, okay? Apparently our delete failed. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, we'll go over to our outputs and take a look and see what the problem is. And it has a problem with the target group. Maybe it wants the instance to stop running first. I'm gonna go over to EC2. And maybe we just stop this here. Maybe that will resolve our issue. Yeah, and we'll go back over to CloudFormation. And we'll go ahead and delete this again. I do not want to get rid of the target group. I want it to actually properly delete. So I'm hoping that maybe this time it will actually delete. So we'll wait here and see what happens. All right, so that stack is now gone. And what we will do is make our way over to ACM here. And we'll go ahead and delete this. Good. And I mean, I can go over to Route 53 and clean up that uh, hosted zone file, like uh, route. Not that it really matters, but no reason to keep a dead link in there. So in here we have cloudborg.org and I'll go ahead and delete this A record and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.